everyone i'm back it's uh, been a while it's currently february 2022 and uh well i'm here at short hills provincial park part of the reason i'm back is i have a buddy jason in the forest he has put out a challenge uh, at the beginning of the year challenging people to reach out to 22 provincial parks in 2022 so Gatsby and I are here at Short Hills Provincial Park. This is our first provincial park and uh, hopefully we'll meet his challenge and make it out to uh, 22 parks this year. Uh, it's definitely going to be a challenge because there's only 52 uh, weeks in a year. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. This is actually an unmaintained uh, provincial park, sorry, a non-operating provincial park. So this one here, there's uh, no tickets, no fees. It's uh, wide open to use. Uh, it is still one of uh, Ontario's provincial parks. This one ha actually has uh, bathrooms, which uh, we passed as uh, we came in. So that's uh, cool. It's got a boatload of trails. So as you've seen when I first started the video, I had all the trails at uh, the back behind me. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is uh, for uh, Jason in the forest. This is provincial park number one. Uh, today we're going to see if we can find a couple uh, geocaches. That's kind of been my new hobby as of late. So uh, yeah, I think um, that's a good little short intro video. Maybe I'll see uh, if I can get some more footage of Gatsby and what else we're doing around here. All right, the rain is dying down a bit. So seeing it's rained down, maybe I should give you guys an update as to uh, what's happened over the last little bit since the last video. Whew, these hills are kicking my butt. So I think everyone knows that uh, the world kind of got flipped upside down. With that being said, we kind of said, you know what? I need to take a break. I need to focus on some new things. And uh, yeah, just kind of step back for a bit. Like I said, we've got the motivation from uh, Jason. Cats are coming to kind of get back into this. But while we've been gone, Gatsby still hasn't been in the canoe. I know a couple of people have asked about that. I will definitely get a video of us in the canoe. Hopefully that video does not lead to us in the water. It's still leaking, so I gotta pull out the ribs and the foam and reseal it. But it's, uh, it's a small leak. I'm able to take it out for a couple hours at a time. And uh, so that's good. So Gatsby will definitely be in the canoe this spring. We've done some training. And uh, I reached out to a trainer, Ryan Brown. He's uh, local to me. And uh, yeah, I actually heard him on the Dogs Way podcast. The one uh, with Sean McDaniel that I mentioned before. Reached out to him, explained the barrier issues I was having with Gatsby, with him barking and freaking out. And uh, Ryan helped immensely. To the point that we got Gatsby here off leash got the freedom to run around. Ryan has helped me with his recall. He's also helped me with the e collar training as well, which was a goal in mind so that when we do these kind of trips, these backcountry trips, if for whatever reason I need to, I can get him at a distance. If I'm too far to yell, call his name. Gatsby, come. And he can't hear me. Well, I have the e collar as kind of a backup plan for us so that's one thing as you've seen he's got his orange backpack that's the other thing if I'm gonna be doing trips with Gatsby Gatsby's gonna be carrying his own stuff so right now his bag is empty he's got no weight in it but progressively we will work up to what's uh, kind of the ideal amount which is 20% of his body weight he weighs 40 pounds 20% works out to be about 8 pounds so that should be more than enough for him to carry his own food and dishes when we do these trips. So for now it'll remain empty. And yeah, I think that kind of sums up the uh, the last little bit. If there's anything else that comes to mind, I'll definitely update you guys and kind of go from there. For now, what we're doing is we're out here at the Short Hill Provincial Park because there's a geocache here. There is actually the oldest geocache in Ontario. So I thought this is kind of a cool uh, monumental video, kind of a we're back video. 
combined with the fact that we are going to try and find the oldest geocache in Ontario. So kind of some two big steps there for us. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, hopefully I find it. So I took a phone call while on the trail. There's first mistake. Second mistake is I took a wrong turn. So I ended up leading myself completely away from the geocache I was hunting. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's starting to rain a lot more. It's getting darker. I've now decided that I'm just gonna find my way back to my van and uh, I will come back on a different day, maybe with uh, less snow. But good news is Gatsby and I are back. We're gonna try and post uh, some more videos as we go. The videos are gonna have more trails, uh, probably the Bruce Trail a lot. That's uh, runs right through the city that we live in. Uh, lots more geocache finds, so I'm thinking. Uh, it's fun for me, I enjoy it. So I hope everyone else is gonna enjoy it. It's a loss, we kinda know where we're going. But uh, we decided that uh, we're gonna follow a game trail. So these tracks here, I don't know if you can tell, are uh, most likely deer tracks. We've come across some other uh, dog-like tracks, but I'm assuming no other idiot is like me getting lost out here. So it's probably coyote tracks. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's our lost saga for this welcome back video. I don't know if you can see off there in the distance, I'm kind of hoping you can. Three deer just took off. I don't know how well this zoom is. I got Gatsby back on the leash just because if there is any coyotes and stuff, I'd rather not tangle. Deers are down there. Gatsby's a little excited. I don't know if it's because they're deer or because that they were running, but uh, yeah. Uh, we definitely are idiots for this one. We made it to the other trail, the proper trail. The trail that would take me to the van in five minutes. There's a seven foot high fence. So now we gotta backtrack. Who knows how long to try and find another proper trail to figure out where we're going. So uh, yeah, Gatsby doesn't seem to mind. As you can tell, I'm soaking wet. But uh, yeah, I will uh, update when I get to the van. If I make it to the van. As per my phone's GPS, Google Maps, I'm about 18 minutes away. I'm back on the main trail. Gatsby soaked, his bag soaked, I'm soaked. It's been, it's been a long day. This is supposed to be a nice short hour hike, or sorry, hour hike, find a geocache and get out. Instead, it became get lost, get some more lost, don't find a geocache, get out. And uh, yeah, so we're 20 minutes from my van and uh, very exhausted. So I turned back around, added 20 minutes to this adventure. Had I just followed the fence down, it ends right there. So for some perspective, we had cut across, trying to just kind of make a beeline for the van, try to get out of here, not sit and get soaked anymore, try and prevent getting sick. And uh, so I guess we would have had to cross that, but uh, that doesn't look too terrible. Probably could have made it around there, but we were just up there, like just a couple feet up. Guys, this long hill, we end up having to trudge through all of that all the way back around when I probably could have cut this whole thing in half with another shortcut. I'm glad I didn't try because who knows, maybe it would have fell in the water. But, but lesson learned, stop taking shortcuts, stick to the trail and uh, plan a little better next time. All right, once we get to the top of this hill, that's it. So, uh, well, if you want me to get lost more, if you want to stick around for some adventures, like, subscribe, comment, tell me I'm an idiot for cutting the trail, that's fine. I agree. Uh, but, Jason, if you have made it this far in my adventures, I am challenging you to find just 22 geocaches in 2022. I just started this year, I'm past 22, so simple, sim something simple, have fun with it, keep me posted. All right guys, till next time.